My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Amwage Interlude Man. And this is £275 for 100ml. The notes are bergamot, oregano, pimento berry oil, amber, frankincense, cassis, opanax, base notes of leather, argwood smoke, patchouli, and sandalwood. Do we have our bottles of homage interlude? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So I'm expecting great perfumery. I think this is a fantastic house, super professional, I'm expecting something monstrously strong, monstrously projecting. That's kind of what I'm expecting that goes with the house. But whether I like it is another thing. I love their black iris and a couple of other things I've really liked. This smells undoubtedly Middle Eastern. It has that Middle Eastern thing to it. Strong, projecting, robust, a wall of fragrance. This is not gonna come off your skin. You're dealing with tricky aroma chemicals. You're just dealing with tricky, tricky stuff in here to get right. And cedol is a constituent of cedarwood and it can be used to create leather accords. It can be used to create lots and lots of different things. Using a different amounts of different things can work to create iris and all this sort of stuff. But in this gives a sort of more leathery feel Vanillin, ethyl vanillin, linol, acetates, some soft wood compounds to soften it off. And I've noticed that a lot of Middle Eastern perfumery has that monstrous projection and then is smooth at the core. And that's what I associate with Middle Eastern perfumery is amber-like raw materials, wood-like raw materials, vanillin, smoothness very smoky the uh, galak wood which is a solid at room temperature sort of greeny brown it looks like a, a resin is at high amounts can help to just give smokiness a photonic feel but it's also gives a balsamic quality to it it can do and with all this is smoky strong and Doubt to be undoubtedly masculine. I don't know any women who particularly would want to smell like this, but that's not saying that women can't. Further sort of backed up with sort of seed wood. So this is really seed woody. Lots of different types of cedar wood. Cedar wood atlas works at the top. Uh, Virginia, Texas, Chinese. That is fantastic in sort of like a oriental style perfumery. It is smoky, leathery, robust, strong. To me, this sort of feels like an older man would wear this the smokiness is gorgeous and it smells like a sort of fran frankincense sort of like based perfume slightly bitter which there is a place for sort of these fragrances yeah absolutely doesn't everything doesn't have to be you know sweet and like pop music this means like rock music it's quite like a uh, rock music leather smoke it dries down beautiful. I know that all their work and what I've tested, even if I don't like it, the dry down is gorgeous. And that is the amount of naturals they use. And my favorite style of perfumery is when it's, I'd say one third naturals to two third really, really good aroma chemicals. The dry down is gorgeous, it's sweetening up. And that is the Kumarin and Heliotropin through the base to help to sweeten and sort of further dry it out. It's dry, sweet. Projection on me is uh, really difficult. I personally struggle with it. And uh, so when a perfume is robustly projecting, you know, take my hats off to it. So on my skin, if it's projecting out there like a wall, I imagine on people who aren't heavily tattooed or have lighter skin uh, would get monstrous projection like a wall. Herbaceous, it's just got herbaceous smoky quality to it. On to my final thoughts. I think this is great perfumery. I, I expected nothing less. I go through my final thoughts, my marks, and my sort of thought process on it. Uh, safe, legal, compliant, super professional company. That's why I review them quite a lot. Robust, strong, projecting, long lasting. I imagine this just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, I think this will just last. I applied this and it went on for about eight, 10 hours. I get limited time to test stuff because I'm working on my stuff. So at the weekends I tend to apply it and see what it is and try it on other people and then get their opinions so I can uh, give you a fully rounded review. And this just lasts. 
projecting long lasting. But I think this is again, one of those things which is either you like it or you don't. This is like a signature man's fragrance. This is an older man's fragrance. This is a, a quite dominant scent. So I think it's a dominant man's fragrance. Smells like Amouage. I think it's great and thoroughly recommend it. I personally wouldn't wear it. I'm gonna put it out there, which is absolutely fine because you know, there's thousands of thousands and thousands of different types of perfume and I like what I like and you like what you like, but I personally don't like this and I don't like the sort of bitter smokiness to it. But I think it's excellent. I think it's a really awesome perfumery, but it's just not for me. I'm gonna mark it an eight out of 10. And the two marks that are coming off are just purely because it's just not for me. But I do love the sort of slight uh, heliotrope and cumarin and vanilla quality to this next to all that harsh uh, cedarwood, woody, smoky aspect to it. I think it's very, very good perfumery, but I just wouldn't reach for it. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.